those two spend an enormous amount of time together for their job. The fact that they choose on their days off to vacation together in Turks and Caicos, Mm -hmm. it just makes me feel so much better about what happens in the future. Mm -hmm. Because those two are clearly tied at the hip Mm -hmm. and that they love it. They are. Probably each other in the best possible way. Yep. That bros. Doesn't it make you just kind of warm the heart a little bit? It'd be like, I think they want to do this together. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I love this. You Okay, so if you go back, and I know that people are going to hate this, but you go back to the 80s Oilers, those guys were fucking attached to the hip everywhere they went. Yeah. There was a good nucleus of eight to ten dudes. Didn't matter if they went to McDonald's or they went to the nice, you know, nice nightclub. They were always together. This is what I see. Connor and Leon are always together. I don't see one leaving the other. I just, my thing for it has always been they're never going to play with better players no. than the one or the other. And they it's have, and you know, and you them. still have, I don't like, I don't know if that, that obviously that circle is, but then you have Darnell there and you have Nuge. There. Like, it's just. You have Hyman and Kane. Yeah, and like, it's, man, I just, I. Sure. To this day, Wayne Gretzky says that if that team had stayed together, that they would have won Seven at, at cups, least cups. two or three more cups. Yeah. And you can't tell me that Wayne Gretzky doesn't have that conversation with Connor McDavid and Leon Dreisaitl when the time comes uh, to be able to impart some of that wisdom onto them as well. Of course, 100%. I agree, Dan. And also, like Tyler made this point yesterday, uh, just in the office, he goes, playing together kind of lowers the pressure on the other. Yeah. yeah. That's, you know, if someone goes to New York or whatever, you're the guy. Here you're the guy, but you've also got somebody right beside you that's yeah, also the guy. Right there. Shared experiences. So I just wanted to touch on it because I loved it. Oh, it makes you smile. I loved it. Also, the, the girlfriends are best friends too. It seems like like this is the McMullet. Also, I saw some people that weren't fans. I'm in. I'm in. He's all business now. A little party in the back. McTuft coming like, out. Come on, channeling like his inner Smitty. Sh- Wait till that thing feathers out in you know a couple of weeks after a fresh cut. Like Liam's got a fresh cut right now. He looks Snow great. Here is good. The whole all, the whole city's gonna melt. Mm. Mm-hmm. I love it. I get such a kick out of people making fun of like the barbers that do that for Connor and Leon, like as if Connor and Leon didn't tell the barbers what to do. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever not chosen your haircut when you go into <laughs> oh, your yeah. haircut? I don't know. Like, I guess people just assume that rich people just sit in a chair and then they get told what is going to look good for them. Like you can go to first choice haircutters today and you are going to be allowed to tell them what kind of cut you want. Yeah. You know, 